Hi guys, Dan here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to basically optimize State of Decay 2. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's a tool that you can find on the Nexus mods um, and you simply download it and it has some uh, options in there and tweaks you can do to kind of enhance your experience with the game. Uh, you will need an account on Nexus mods but I'm sure a lot of people do anyway. So yeah, once you're logged in, just manually download the tool. Um, I'm going to save it in my browser downloads. You can save it anywhere as long as you can get into it. And uh, just for ease of access, I drag it onto my desktop, the uh, configurator itself. Uh, once it's there, you just open it up. You may have to uh, run it as administrator. So as you can see, there's quite a few options. Now there's a few ones you want to turn off straight away. And that is, one of them is mouse acceleration and mouse moving. So B, enable mouse moving, false. Uh, B, disable mouse acceleration, true. Uh, because you do want to disable it. Um, another thing is motion blur. You can turn that off here too. As you can see, I've got the motion blur quality to zero and default feature motion blur, false. Uh, you can turn off a few others as well for for um, performance. Like there's a few here that you can just turn to one. Um, I'm not sure if you can turn all of this to zero. I haven't messed around with it too much. I've just left it either one or two. <clears throat> um, so turn them up quality, depth of field. That's another one you can turn off, which I did. For me, it just kind of enhances my experience with the game. Uh, I'm just not keen on that feature in any game. Uh, lens flare off. Um, right, like like I said, depth of field off. And for off, you simply here you just put zero. It says here set this to false to turn it off, but zero works fine as well. But you may want to just put false just to make sure. Um, now I think there was one other one I wanted to show. Ah, there's the is it scale here we go resolution quality now I think this is on default um, it's like 70 now if you put it to 100 your the graphics will be better but obviously it is going to take a performance it so what you can do if you, you've got like a potato PC you can just turn this to 50 uh, I'm not sure how bad it will look but you can just experiment with it um, so yeah, the tool itself is pretty self-explanatory. I'll put the link in description um, and uh, credit to the guy that made it. How do you even pronounce that? Is it Biligo? Biligo? Yeah. Well, anyways, you get the gist. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. If you want to see more like this, then like and comment. Alright guys, peace out.